You know what I'm talking about? Sorry, I was I was in shock. I couldn't listen. Oh my god, what is this? Are you good? Uh, again. <sighs> Look oh my this. god, that's horrifying. <laughs> Who made that? I don't know. You get it. You get right? it. Right? You, you get it. Right? You, you get what we're saying. Right? See, the toes are a metaphor. <laughs> it's just rewards. You did the thing. Why am I doing Koroks? It's a joke. It has to be a joke. Uh, hello and welcome to this special episode with my husband, Chari. <gasps> oh my god, hi. Hi. S so... He, he, so, what? <laughs> super excited to be here. <laughs> um, he was like, you should rant into the mic because I was ranting like 20 minutes ago about why I'm mad at Zelda. And he was like, you should record a rant. So. Oh my gosh, yeah, I remember that. Why Why were you mad about mm -hmm. Zelda? You still have 75 to seconds, dude. Fly or climb. 75 seconds. Yeah, 75 seconds. You all use the glider. It's not even two minutes. It's, it's 75 seconds. <laughs> Can't hit dogs. You could pick up the dogs in Twilight Princess. Mm -hmm. And cats. Like. Never forget what they took from you. You used to be able to pick up dogs. You used to be able to pick up dogs. Like, it's like they didn't listen to us at all. They, like, threw Koroks in our face again. Shrines. Like, why, why even waste time on a shrine? What? Like, they add, like, almost nothing to the story. And... Like, they're literally just for fun, and I get that. Then add them solely as a DLC. I'd pay for it. But, like... God, I love this game, though. It's really great. It's really fun. It's very fun. But it just disrespects people who are here for the lore and here for the story. Uh, I just feel like there's a severe lack of storytelling and, like... There's like, I mean, the NPCs are fine and everything. Like, you can't put your hood up and down. You can't. The quests are fine. There's there's like 10 things to talk about in Hyrule. But they're just fine. What, the end or beginning cutscene? Uh, the Bargainer. The Forgotten Temple. I mean, barely. Yeah, yeah, the fuck uh, why, why? There you, are caves? I hit the one that's like in South Faron, like, you know what I'm talking about? The one that's like... You go down in, it has like a water thing that it fills up sometimes. You know what I'm talking about? Sorry, I was... I was in shock. I couldn't listen. Oh my god, what is this? Are you good? Uh, again. <sighs> Look oh my this. god, that's horrifying. <laughs> Who made that? I don't know. <laughs> you were saying something about the nature of Nintendo had, <laughs> Nintendo had released some form of update post? Uh... I, I don't really remember the particulars of that. The developer update. Yeah, yes. I mean, if it's like if you wanted it to be a part of the lore, then you just put it in the game. If you want to suggest there's more than one founding, then you put it in the game. It's just as simple, like... Like, I don't mm. know if, like, whenever you... like. With Skyrim, they added like a bunch of lore. Probably not, right? Like it was a contained game. But like typically, you know, you get a game and then just like all the lore's out there. And then the best thing the developers can do is just not say anything. Right? Like. Yeah. That way the hardcore fans go and dig up the lore and 
disseminate it to others. Yeah. yeah. It's like a mystery. And then Makes it's it fun. Something right. to search for. And so when you have to like, you're like trying to like persuade me to like look at something a certain way. Because they're like, oh, it, everybody's like on this like retcon route. Like, like a lot of people were convinced it's retcon. And it's not like not the first time that people have been convinced that there was a retcon. But then it's not. Like Hylia, people thought Hylia was a huge retcon. Like this mm. wasn't part of the the lore. Who never, who is Hylia? I'm not really finding what you're talking about when I'm searching. What do you mean? I'm trying to find that update post. Oh, the developer? Uh, it was a, a, like a Famitsu article, 2023. Whee! I know this is a regular question, but does Tears of the Kingdom fit into the timeline? The Skyward Sword is depicted as the origin, and Breath of the Wild is depicted as the very end, but Tears of the Kingdom is both a sequel to Breath of the Wild and reveals the story of the establishment of Hyrule. So I wonder if perhaps this is now the origin? Fuji Bayashi. Without a doubt, the events of the story are set after Breath of the Wild, and fundamentally, we intend the Legend of Zelda series story to and world to not break apart, so... I can only say two things at this point. Keeping in mind that the premise of not breaking apart, I believe that there is room for fans to think so then this is a possibility. If I were to speak only upon the potential, it is possible that although the story tells, uh, although this tells a story of the founding of Hyrule, it could have been that's previously been destroyed too. We didn't produce this in some random way, thinking, would it be interesting to do it this way? And this includes things that get unmentioned. So I hope you enjoy imagining it. It's like, if you want me to, like, view it like that. Instead of, like, up... Okay, like, if you're going to, like, update the game, take out tons of glitches and stuff, why not just, like, update uh, Taro's... Uh, is that his name? Toro. Taro, yeah. Taro. 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 Update his dialogue. Be like, I found a tablet that says that suggests that Hyrule was founded more than once. Imagine. Like such a simple update, like one dialogue line. But until you got to the very end of that statement, I didn't think any of that sounded like really to confirm it either way. I can I can understand how the end of that statement you might think you might be in the two founding It's just camp. changed so many times, like, because the, the way that it's worded is just so Japanese. Yeah. And that it's, 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 like, hard really to hard to, to translate. Yes. It's so hard. Like, I've seen three different translations of this very same dialogue. Oh, my gosh. And all the stuff being represented by blue. And I wish there was something that said that. My bad. Show, don't tell. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you Absolutely still want... Imagination. So that's the thing, is that you can't... You can tell a story with no words. But how much does that really hook the viewer? I did it again. I did it again. Okay. So, the article, I guess, was originally, it was originally a Telegraph article. Uh, it's behind a paywall, allegedly, yeah, so, um, but of course Reddit comes through, so, um, here is the article, um, though it had been a long-held ambition of his to create a game where, quote, people could play in a world after having completed a game in the same world. It was during the development of Breath of the Wild's additional DLC content that the idea to reuse the game world began to crystallize, explains El Numa. When we made the DLC for Breath of the Wild, it made me feel like this world still has a lot of potential for new gameplay, Anuma explains. Quote, I talked with 
Mr. Fujibashi about it, and he was also thinking about the gameplay using the same world as the last game as a base. So we decided to make a sequel set in the same world. Of course, that also presented challenges in terms of making sure it's not representative, or making sure it's not repetitive or feeling like you've seen it before. Quote, we did think a little bit about what if we had Skyloft, the setting of that game, beloved fans up in the sky, chuckles Fuji Bayashi, and a dark underworld with shades and jewels of of Jules Verne's journey to the center of the earth was added. Each area was specifically designed to elicit new emotions in the player. Our concept for each so upsetting. Players have remarked in some cases on the lack of in-universe explorations for some of the changes to Hyrule, notably that the Sheikah Towers and Guardians, which were a central part of Breath of the Wild, have disappeared entirely. Nintendo has its own internal explanations about what happened. Quote, they disappeared after the Calamity was defeated. Sealed. Fujibashi says all the people all the people of Hyrule also witness this but there is no one who knows the me mechanism or the reason why they disappeared and it is considered a mystery imagine if that was in the game oh my fucking god dude all the people of Hyrule oh from the top. They disappeared after the calamity was defeated, sealed. Fuji Bayashi explains all of the people of Hyrule also witnessed this. They considered it a mystery. It is believed that since the calamity disappeared, they also disappeared as their role had been fulfilled. There is no one who knows the mechanism or reason why they disappeared, and it is considered a mystery. So nobody wrote it down. The end. Even Luna, even Luna has a problem with it, man. You tell him, Luna. That's crazy, man. That's wild. Oh, what's the dragon have to say? Oh, uh, she like, oh, play Baldur's Gate with me. No, she was, she's the one who told me about the article. <laughs> she's like, they did it again. I was like, no! <laughs> Thus, Sorry, quote, thus people have simply assumed the reason behind the disappearance is likely to, to likely be related to ancient Sheikah technology, and it seems there is no one who has tried to explore the matter further. <laughs> Everyone assumed it was Sheikah technology, so nobody did a thing. Quote continued, the main civilization in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are completely different, so we thought about the game based on concepts that match each of these civilizations. I love the author here. The short answer? Don't worry about it. Huh. What's that? Hey, look over here, kid. Come on, stupid. It's fucking stupid. Hey, look, look. Look, look. It's it's the fucking it's it's the meme. It's 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 someone reading something and then subway surfer beneath it. Come on. Divine beast? Come on, fucker, that was the last game. Look at the dog. He has toes. <laughs> Oh, I wish there was anyone who said it. Did, did you get 
that in any way from your playthrough, darling? Huh? Fuck no. Fuck no. Bro, we were... We legit... Go on. No, there was... There was nothing. Remember, we kept... We kept going back and forth saying, this is... This is the Majora's Mask to the Ocarina of Time. We were like, <coughs> history rhymes, you know? It was like, this ki- this isn't the same place, right? O- obviously. 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 Obviously, this Where isn't the, the divi- same reality. Where are the divine beasts? <coughs> no why, one's talking about it. Why does everybody know about the Zonai now? It was like... No, we just need to guide your thinking, you know? We just need to guide you to, to think... To, to just to just take these concepts and run with them because you just love Zelda that much. You believe in us, right? You believe in us. You you get it, right? You get, you, you get it. You get right? it, <laughs> right? You, you get it, right? You, you get what we're saying, right? See, the toes are a metaphor. <laughs> Like, maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. But I don't think I am. I got the bubble frog. Oh, that's what's, what was up there. It was the bubble frog. I remember. They don't entice my interest the same way. Like, I, I really... Uh... It's Pokemon. Everybody has one line. Yeah, I mean, yeah, kind, kind of, of. Kind of feeling. Kind of feeling, yeah. Obviously, there are more than one line for everybody, but, you know, it's not... Mm, not getting missions from people and going and doing shit. I feel like... a little bit, but it's like babies first. Like, yes, and it's like the world doesn't need to be this big if they just would focus on containing as opposed to expanding even more, right? Like... The, the underground's cool and all, but, like, the only thing that you find there are the mines. And so the only <laughs> thing that's implied is that there were people mining, and then there's the statues, and then the bargainer. And then that's it. And it's interesting, but there's not enough information to really, uh... Balloon. Yeah. Balloon. But... There was a bubble frog up there. That was but it. This place tells so much more than <gasps> just a bubble frog. It's reused assets. At the end of the day, it's just it's like it's a, it's, a, it's a cistern entrance. That's all it says. Fascinating. I wish it matched anything in the past games. I don't know. I just feel like the the thing like you know, for instance, like the Dragon Wall. Uh. You showed me the Dragon Wall from Skyrim. Can you explain what uh, that is? Yeah. It's amazing. Um, it's this wall predict, um, telling the story of the like birth and destruction of the world in that game, in Skyrim. Uh, and it's about Alduin, the eater of worlds. <laughs> it's this carved wall with him in the center. I don't know. A lot about the particulars of the carving, but it's at the end of the Blades quest line, high in the mountains, and you have to it it like has to be you. It requires the blood of a dragonborn to open the sanct the Skyview Sanctum. Which is like so cool, like just the way that you even get there. Like that's that's really rad to me. Like you yeah. get it at the end. You, know. you have to track down, like, the last two of a long-hunted order that used to protect the Emperor of Mankind. You know? Wild. Super cool. And the the Dragon Wall from, like, the video that you showed Looks me. Looks kind of like that a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> just, a, just a smidge. Just a smidge. Like, because you showed me a video, and I'll, I'll go back and I'll track it down, and I'll throw it up on the screen, the thumbnail up on the screen now. But in that video... The, the the person goes over the lore and they, they seem very comp like they like know they like they, they like know this like the back of their hand and it's like 
they talk about how it shows the transition of like spoilers by the way of of skyrim okay. sorry it's old so you are you already had your chance uh but like uh but yeah it's just like huge wall and it tells a story of a dragon <sighs> Pat, like over time a and and it's like that's like the far right is the future it tells a le legally distinct and transformative tale <sighs> it's taken a beat of that and then what was the other game that we came across that i was like really I was like, no, they couldn't have stolen this. Oh, the the Outer Wilds. I just played Outer Wilds, and like, the Nomai are are these this race that oh, disappear. The Nomai. The Nomai. Look at this, like three eyed beings. Like look look at like. Oh this. my god, three eyes. <laughs> yes, my guy. Check. Oh, that's right, because they were published by Annapurna. That's why. You uh, Annapurna, it. yeah, exactly. The same people who made Stray. Yeah, exactly. And watch the Stray videos. Yeah, watch the Stray videos. I put a lot of work into them. Um, but yeah, oh, no. If I say they'll be, if I say they'll be linked in the video, do you have to go in and add? Uh, yeah, I could add in stuff in the upper right hand quarter. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know why not? And there's blood. Bro, that's paint. What do you oh, mean? It, not it paint. matches the mazes. Those, that's the same texture as the mazes. Like it's paint. Yeah, blood. It's paint. blood 100 percent blood you mean to tell me dog you're trying to make something up about this place there's no inscriptions ain't no murals that describe an ancient bloody path. Nothing! Give me the Japanese name of the fucking cave. Um. Oh. Okay, so it's investigation of the drive. Don't know if that's correct or not. Hold on. What does that mean? What does that say? What was what say? It's in German, right? What? The the cave. Or is it in English? Looks like it's in English actually. Uh it's in English. Oh, uh, but what Rossio Lake cave? Rosslaw Lake. Who's that supposed to be? I don't know. The first thing that comes to my mind is, is the hospital lot. Right? Who knows? Nintendo. This is what annoys me, dude. It's like if you want to, like, make a theory about anything, it's just all too vague to, like, say any way, one way or the other. It's annoying because it's like, dude, there's there's nothing in here. Like, there's nothing that looks like a past Zelda game. I've compared it. I inspect, dude. Like, I'm telling you, dog. Like, look at how many times I've walked this cave up and down. I had the most hope in the world for uh, Nintendo. I really did. I oh my god, let's go! Uh, what is this? You're I can't even right now. I need to break down everything. Must. Find you? Excuse me, hello? Ah! Uh, just, uh, I was like, surely they, they'll they let me craft an arrow and pick up a dog or I play with about them. Why could they say that Tears of the Kingdom is darker than Majora's Mask? Um, In what way? How, bro? I thought and then it's just like, also just like quick gripe about the game. Our power was out and 
it was like oh i was God. like oh i'm gonna play i'm gonna play tears of the king you know like i don't You're really talking have about during the do. hurricane yeah and then i was like i'm gonna play tears of the kingdom you know why not i my switch is fully charged and then i went to get on with the hard copy of the game and i and i couldn't get on because it required wi-fi with the hard copy gotta gotta make sure you're allowed to play this game <sighs> why i have the hard copy they just had to run your social credit oh my god it's just it's kind of like they just are like flagrantly doing whatever they want and it's really frustrating for like a lot more people than just me like a lot of people are frustrated about this i know i'm not the only one like there's a reason why people aren't watching zelda content it's because they're also equally as angry like like there's nothing more to inspect there at that cave because there's nothing more to inspect i wish there was text i wish there was something a name uh, is not enough for me give me lore Pre treat me like an adult god i got so many comments just being mad like just light people the timeline on fire. light the time oh let me bring that up the, yeah jamie um, would you pull that up jamie would you pull that up um Yeah, so <sighs> there it is. So, how do you feel about the recent timeline announcement? Twenty nine percent. I'm still confused. Nine percent. It all makes sense. Twenty five percent. I don't care anymore. Thirty six percent. Light the timeline on fire. 5,000 votes. 4.9. 4.9 thousand votes. Oh and if, if like, the majority... Okay, that like, 5,000 people voting is not, like... It, I mean, it's, like, a good amount of people, but, like, it that's just a swath of the, uh, of the Zelda community, you know? Like, I could I mean, rerun like, this poll. That's a study. Yeah, it literally is. Yeah. And this is how people feel. 36% of people feel like they want to yeah. light the timeline on fire. 29% are still, conf they're like, you shouldn't be leaving people so, con there should be mysterious elements, but you shouldn't leave your audience so confused that they don't care, which is 25% of the next people. You know what I mean? Like, it's. Yeah, that's like, oh my God, 66% of people 65 percent of people 66 yeah if you count the last two yeah i mean like like i'm not trying to hate on Zelda. i love zelda and uh, i was 61. just i was just math. just talking about this earlier i was like i love zelda and i wish they would return to these smaller more intricate games where like you're rewarded for your exploration exploration and like you're locked out of certain areas because oh i don't have this specific tool you know like the fact that the weapon system like weapons break like adds zero value to the system because not only do my weapons break there's no valuable cool like the hook shot or i don't know like the claw shot or um you have the the boomerang right super cool like the, the gale boom, like the gale boomerang was really cool like because it had like a wind tornado that you would and you'd have to solve a bunch of puzzles with them right and then i mean imagine if the zonai parts were a lot more tightly controlled yeah if they were a lot more difficult to get your hands on you know the ones you wanted or like i don't because they kind of do lock you out because those ones are in like higher sky islands and you have to like mine so much and i get that but like but There's nothing them... that requires you to have those parts to solve the puzzles, which some people are really into. I'm personally not. I'm a big fan of the, like, 
you have to come back here, kid. Go back and do it again and come back with the Gale Boomerang and then you can get past this wall. Yeah, come not, back with big boy truck wheels. Not just hearts, not just stamina check. Like, come back with a specific tool that you you have no... Because you can go get hearts anywhere. You can go get stamina anywhere but you can't go get one specific tool that's well hidden anywhere right like if you have to get this one thing that's at the end of this one specific temple then it it like makes you make like mental checks along the way you're like you're like hey i i see this this claw shot area i claw shot it down but then there's a second claw shot right i love that in twilight princess like you claw shot down and then you're just like looking around and you're like oh shit there's like a second claw shot thing so then you're like, clearly I need a second claw shot. I mean, that's going to happen in the game. So it gets you kind of excited for it. But then like you like ment- make a mental check, like I have to come back here. Because like that was the only way to get your heart pieces is like you had to go find them and they were really well hidden. Like, yeah. Sometimes they were in temples, like sometimes they were like, like at the end of this like windy maze puzzle or like, you know, like that was cool. I like I like being locked out of stuff, you know, or like it being behind a puzzle. Like this is just like my personal gripe, but like I just Yeah. One tool for the job is like go to go to Caleb, get Nicholas needle, use it on Millicent, do the fight, get it back. Now you can Now you fix can fix yeah. your screwed up game playthrough. Yeah, now now you and then you have to go here and then you have to like insert the needle in back in time or at the edge of time or like not even in time because like you have to go to one specific place and insert the needle yeah to cure yourself to yeah. cure yourself because oh like gosh, yeah yeah because like i go i did this, i did the flame yeah. thing because i was just like i wonder what would, it would be so funny and quirky yeah, I if i did if, uh, if i clicked on the door surely there's not a cut scene that will force me into it boom shoehorned into a, an and and it was like and- oh no how do i fix it and it's like oh i have to go to this it's like well if i'm already here i might as well fight the dragon too yeah i forgot about that portion yeah go it's to so- Caleb, fight a demigod steal her needle do a quest line fight four other tough foes come back <sighs> and then go to the storm beyond time to cure yourself exactly perfect of gameplay like eldritch cringe and 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 then and then you do that and it's like rewarding you know like it's like this big like it's the reveal right the fact yeah. that the fact that like that like it, i think that's the pro- the main problem with the game is that they're not controlling the reveal of information like if you kept all the same elements there and just removed some of the entrances to those elements had the durability system like got completely rid of that have 18 different tools and those are your permanent tools for the game yeah that's it <clears throat> so easy like the wingsuit could have been a tool instead you know something yeah. that you had to go to the end of temples for right it's just like yeah. move rearrange the stuff around a little bit so like or like you get you know, um, a wingsuit, Rito Village. Like you have to temple. do this big quest with the, the 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 villages to get the, you know, the ancient outfits of past heroes, right? Like, yeah. like you have to like work with the Rito to like uncover this like mysterious like like museum esque area, you know, like and take any of the runes that are over there. You know, and then have like murals in there that just give you a little bit more insight about the overall story. And then, you know, then then you get the ancient hero's outfit that that it's alluding to. And then you're like, oh, wow, like these really kind of like like they're talking about Ocarina of Time on the on the uh, the Rito murals. Right. And then so say you have instead of having like side on right, those murals have them deep with it have the same murals from the last game and then put those murals deep within 
the different parts of the waterworks, right? And then yeah. somewhere in the waterworks is the outfit from Ocarina of Time. And and it's like, because Princess Ruto saved that. because And then that could even, like, loot. You could make theories out of that then. Because then you're like, oh, my God, did they get married? Like, did that actually happen? That's so fast. Like, oh, my God, Ocarina of Time, freaking canon event. Or, like, you find, yeah. maybe you find the Ocarina of, of Time set inside, a, or, like, maybe part of the set is in uh mallow's ranch uh, like in lon lon ranch like that would be so interesting because then you're like oh scandalous is there a love tri like was lincoln a love triangle like who knows right um like like, like i don't know like that's and it's just using the exact same elements like you don't have to add anything to the game because it's about the reveal the most egregious of all the reveal is, is this why do i walk out of lookout landing and there's a chasm they really want you to go into the no! chasm. No! No! You have me go to the mountains. You have me talk to some old person who says something like, Hey, I, I heard of this thing, this, ca this cave this one time when I was a kid. And, and this, you know, these hands went, reached out to grab me and I was so the scared. and opened up and swallowed my father. And, and I watched him die. And you're like, damn, I have to go to that cave. Now. I have to go find that cave. I must know what's inside. So then you trek to the edge of of this the the mountain, and you find this cave behind this this this, this set of puzzles. And then within that cave is a chasm. That's how you reveal it. Amazing. Yeah. That's how you. It's that simple. There's only three chasms in the world. Three. That's it. You have three opportunities to get into the chasms. Ain't no dragons flying through. You can't ride a dragon. Like, that's cool and all. But, like, just make a teleporter. Just have them teleport from the, the surface to the bottom. Like, you know, make them warp. Give them some kind of, like, you know, like, I could come up with 20 different ways that they, they could have the, that still going on and not, and still only have three chasms. There shouldn't be. Uh, hold on. How do I do it? Oh my god, what the heck? Yeah, you can get... There shouldn't be this many chasms. Um. Yeah. Like, I don't want to to have to jump down a well to talk to Robbie to get my... Or jump down a chasm to talk to Robbie to get my camera. You shouldn't be directing me there immediately. It's all about the reveal. You you Because, like, we could have thought that those were caves, not massive underground areas. We could have just been like, oh, those are caves. You know? Like, this is actually really cool. Like, yeah. I, rem I remember being like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. This was, like, actually, like, one of the first oh chasms. It's got I little gloom flames coming off it. Ooh. Little gloom stink. It's so cute. There is a thingy here. Little gloom stink. I'm still convinced that the silent shrooms. Uh. Like, great. Awesome. Sick. What is this place? What is going on here? I've never seen anything like this. Imagine. Wow. Wow. Amazing, right? And you're just like, what is going on? God, I tell you, lighting up the depths was a fucking pain. That is. But, like, I, I mean, still the reveal of, like, how much was in the depths was really cool, but... These that are just like, amazing. Yeah. The, these are just gripes of like how the information is revealed because you can hide it behind story. This is a, a problem with the storytelling. This there's there's a severe problem with storytelling going on in Nintendo, and it's it's the story is fine the way it is. It's about the reveal and also like adding detail, so that way your people aren't so freaking confused. Like, what? What? What are you trying to keep secret, Nintendo? Two games now. I still know nothing about the Zonai. I don't know whether they're warlike or they're peaceful or if there's two tribes or one. There's because there's never any information. I would love to know what happened, you know, to the Twilight and why they were locked in in the Twilight realm. I would love to know inf more information about that and that that war, you know. Uh, but. 
No, yeah. new people. They're furries. No, no, new people. New mystery. We're not going to solve any old one. Solve an old one while presenting a new one. That's how you do it. New mystery box, right? New it's dog a, people. It's an it's a mystery box concept. Like you, you Thank you for subscribing to Nintendo Premium. Please follow <laughs> the prompt on screen. It's like... I don't feel like this is that hard, you know? I still have way more questions about Breath of the Wild than I do Tears of the Kingdom. Like, I'm, I'd am i be way more interested to ask questions about the Blights than I would. The I still got questions about the like, like, bro, why do they scream like yeah. that? Why do they scream like that? I'm I'm convinced the Blights are uh, definitely a she something of the Sheikah making. But you know who who knows because they never answer any of their mysteries anyway, and that's that's fine. But like that's last games questions, like uh, I'd like some. It's like give us give us these little carrots so that way we. I'm not just sitting here with questions on questions on questions on questions on questions on questions on questions, and then I'm just sitting here confused. I just I just like a little bit more information, a little more clarity in the game. Divine beasts are gone. Why? Because it's the new game. Did they digit like explain to me? Did they digitize it? Did Pura walk around and digitize it? Like fine. If she digitized it, just say that. Just just go around. Say that she walked around and they that her and Zelda did a whole tour and that they they just turned it all into the she and then it's in the Sheikah slate now. And hey, maybe you have the opportunity to maybe like call upon a divine beast or something. No. No, 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 no. That'd no, be too cool. Saying. That'd be too cool. Could you imagine a Zonai divine beast? Amazing. Astounding. But they didn't have room because, you know, they live in the past and they can't do a PC game. Like, if they had this on the PC, they wouldn't have had an issue. You know, give me, like, a Nintendo only, like, a Steam-based Nintendo thing where I can play on PC so you can actually expand or, like, do cool stuff like that. Like, Oh snap! I can call a divine beast to, to fight, to fight this big thing in the middle of Hyrule. Like that's how you, how you could do it. But like I don't know. Like there's a million ideas that. But it, just staying with the base game of like how it is right now. It it just feels like just adding a little bit more text. Dial but you know Miyamoto's allergic to story. It is a fun game. It just. I just feel kind of dis like disrespected in so many ways. Like like it's not taking me seriously like as a um an intelligent player. I don't care yeah. if it's a baby. If babies are supposed to be playing these games or if that you want babies playing these games, that's fine. You can Oh my gosh. So is this why you're getting away from exclusively Zelda content? Oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, kind of. But also, I just have a lot of other games that I love, and while I love Zelda, I'm, I'm frustrated. I I don't want to come across as that guy that's just mad, which is kind of why we, we've been talking about doing this podcast, is like, to, yeah. to like... Clear the air. Clear the, yeah, clear the air about it. Like, like I have a lot of other games that I want to do, and it doesn't seem like my Zelda content's doing super well. Um, Cause I think a lot of people are mad, genuinely. Like, I think a lot of people are angry about the outcome of of the game. A lot, I've heard so many people be like, this is just, a, if you, it's just a DLC, just tell me it's a DLC. But like, I'm, I'm not of the camp that it's a DLC, but I'm of the camp that it's a rushed game. And I think a lot of people don't consider the fact that two years were spent, like indoors. Indoors, yeah. like if you have everybody at home, like working from home, like you have to be sending files back and forth, and like to get approved, right? So you're sending like three D assets, and like those that takes time to render out, and you're having people do it from home, and it just is gonna like it's. They did the best they could with six years, and I was like, if they took, like, two more years, I wouldn't be upset, because all I want is just a great Zelda game. I And I feel like this is, like, the base of, of like, you know, we're almost there, guys. Like, let's, you know, 
have some people play it, play test it, give us their th feedback, like honest, like have some fans come in and play it and then give like honest feedback about it. Cause there's fans that know the game better than, you know, even the people that work there, which is kind of nutty. And they could have told them like, hey, like maybe don't put a chasm right in the middle of Hyrule Field. Like oh my if, gosh. if anyone would have said that along the way. It's like the goat Shigeru Miyamoto himself said, delay the game or I'll delay your breathing. <laughs> something, something rushed game bad. And, and like the one video that uh, DJ Peach Cobbler, that ruined it for me, like pretty, pretty good. It's just rewards. You did the thing. Why am I doing Koroks? It's a joke. It has to be a joke. Zelda is, despite appearances, the type of game that makes me numb. I find its exploration actively insulting. I do not explore in this game to satisfy my curiosity. I do it for upgrade materials. While playing the game, despite all the effort and polish and inventiveness on display, I just couldn't help but ask, do you not take pride in your exploration? It's a joke. It has to be a joke. And I can take a joke. But then why am I doing shrines? <laughs> What's the joke here? This is why I've refused to do any shrines. I've refused. I don't do them. But also, for me, I feel like I'm... You know, I played Portal, I played Portal 2. I love, like, puzzle games. <clears throat> and that scratches my itch. So I kind of like the idea, you know, put the ball in the cup, get a measurable reward. Yeah. I think that's just a difference of opinion. But <clears throat> also, I feel like the caliber of puzzle that I experienced in the shrines was far better than the ones I got in the dungeon. Yeah. Because I, I don't think I've met anybody who hasn't ascended through the... Like, I didn't even want to do the track uh, the track puzzles in um, the Fire Temple. Yeah. I didn't care and about... I didn't care. <laughs> it really feels like an issue, a case of them factoring in like the lowest common denominators like this game is rated e10 and eight-year-olds will be playing it instead of just like like eight-year-olds will look up walkthroughs on hard games yeah it was like a a horrible example but our dad got us halo 3 and it's like we had the strategy guide, and I was having an amazing time, even though I couldn't complete the game by myself. Oh, yeah. So did you guys, like, use it a lot? Hmm? Yeah, that that strategy guide was beat to hell. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. Yeah. Because it's like, funny. Halo was a really difficult game in the more... Di in the yeah, like, doing the, skull, the little skulls, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually did, like, a... A level because like my I think my brother bet me um, that I couldn't get all three of them within a level and I was like oh, all right bet and so like I remember spending hours like like he's like you can't use guide and spending hours just like looking for them. You know we have the all five good halos. Yeah I know. Who knows? You know who knows? Who knows? No one knows. No one knows. Crazy big implications. Big story game, massive following. Skyrim and Halo, yeah, huge yeah. followings. And and um, you know, like I've played Halo one, two, and three. I stopped at three. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, the next two are awesome. ODST and Reach. I definitely did storyline for two. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I don't think I did it for one or three. But I, I played multiplayer at least on one and three, like a lot. Yeah. You know, because, like, ev everyone got the Xbox 360. Everybody yeah. be on Xbox Live. Dude, yeah. Three ODST and Reach were, like, some of my biggest years 
And I feel like Firewatch that was with the boys. Yeah, I mean, it was fun because it was like anybody could pick up the controller and like shoot and play, and like yeah. it, everyone could play together. I don't need positive solutions. I just need, need some answers. I need more. I just need more. I need more ex- stuff in detail and like, oh god, this is like unbreakable bullshit. All right, I'm just gonna leave that there. Actually, um, it just feels like. Oops. It just feels like, like, I don't know. There's just not. I don't get, you know, the the the, the like, the same itch, to of like, oh, I I now I want to, I kind of could care less right now. <laughs> you got a war sword on your back. Amazing. Yeah. But it breaks. Yeah. This 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 sword is a cool reveal. This, uh, the dust blade. This was an example of them doing reveal nicely, because you find this, you know, uh, spoilers for in like uh, you go to Typhlo ruins and you have to do a, a huge puzzle, and at the end of it is 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 this this blade. You get this blade. So cool, amazing. And then yeah, you go down to like some secret room, right? And then you've yeah, and then you can go to the sages ruins, and it tells you how it used to be there. Amazing, great storytelling. And then whenever it's sheathed, it is uh, and and Ganondorf's, you know, it has Kume and Katake's headbands wrapped around uh the the uh, sheath of the Cabin, blade. Yeah, yeah, it's so cool. That's so cool. That's great. That's an example of them actually taking care with the story and doing Telling it well. Amazing story in tiny details. But it breaks. Why? Why break? Why flash? Why flash? Why flash? We say why flash because League of Legends. Whenever I flash and then I die, it's like why flash? You know, <laughs> like why, man? Oh my god! Yeah, if like. If, like, people's first thing was an entrance into the fire temple, it's like, whenever you're trying to find Garandia. Yeah. Mm, cinematic perfection. Just amazing. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I can jump. Right. So, like, that's a great reveal. I wish all of the chasms were like that. I think that they really messed up, like, big time on that, like... Because that's what makes Elden Ring's um, underground yes. subterranean oh, world yeah. so amazing. Okay, we're watching in a nice 720. Excellent. So well, go play, go play the game. You know, uh, you can yeah. go experience it in high quality. Oh my god! Go buy the game. It's am- it's amazing. It's so worth it. And just get past. And get it past. Just it. Keeps going. going. And you're like, what is this? Where am I going? Oh, oh wow, it opened up a little oh, bit. Oh wow. Hmm. Oh my wait, it's still go oh. oh wait, what is this? Wait. Wait. Wait, what was that? Wait, what go back. Uh, whoa, whoa, oh, what's that? Uh, wait, what was that up there? I don't think I've ever been to that area. No, that's the other Forbidden City. Oh, that's a forbidden. It's like you can see, yeah. Okay, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that. But see what I mean? Like, there's like you see two different cities on your way down, and you can't even tell. You can't tell which is where is what. And you're like, what am I experiencing? Where do I even go? And then, and then you, and then you're just here. Hello, welcome to Sophia, Sophia, Sophra, Sophra, Sophra. I talked to like a lot of different Zelda tubers about this. I talked to Dr. Wiley a lot. Talked to Izaw. Izaw? I don't know how you say it. Probably Izaw. But, um, new friend. And, uh, Draken, I like really value. And Benoon, I've been talking a lot with Benoon about it. And Charlie as well. Um, and just like really like pot, like thinking about like just doing, like stepping out and just doing different stuff and it's scary i mean it's like actually scary like i i don't i don't know if they're gonna do well or not and maybe not everybody's interested in stray but 
I just want to tell stories that I like and I'm just hoping that like you know the the interests follow because at the end of the day like Stray is a great game and it's cheap like go play it and then watch the lore video like I'm only I'm not picking expensive games these are all the games I'm going to pick I mean probably the most expensive one I'm going to pick is Elden Ring and I feel like a lot of people have already played that though you know um so so like maybe you could say that it's twofold it's massively popular games and like cheap indie games that you think are indie game or old indie games yeah maybe not even cheap just like high value like good storytelling dollars you do spend on them exactly because like like this economy is (laughs) something else and i know it's like great yeah it's so amazing um so like you know uh in these these uh very easy times uh, of clearly everyone's having a, a very transitory time uh you know i'm gonna pick games that are like that will give you value and like are good stories because you know i want to tell stories that you know, talk about lore that, like, I enjoy, you know, because I, f- I feel like at the end of the day, if I'm enjoying what I'm making, then the audience will enjoy the video. Um, because if I, I honestly, like, after the developer announcement, I kind of lost my mind. I was so angry that I just couldn't even think straight. It was just, like, I was just angry for multiple reasons. And it just felt like Nintendo was kind of, like, adding insult to injury and just kind of was like all right you know what maybe i need to like like reassess where i'm at like emotionally you know maybe the problem is me so let me spend some time away from this game so i can like reflect because you know I'm, I'm pretty much done uh I, I think i've done like almost all the quests and still four hearts I haven't done nearly. Oh, yeah. give, give us a check on that quest journal. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm talking out my butt. But where's my quest log? Oh god. That's the other one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I still have. I mean, some. like the main. Well, those are the side quests, though. I mean, I've done a lot of the side quests. Yeah. Then there's like the minor quests, and then I've done like all the memories, obviously. Yeah, like the minor quests are like the ones for rupees. Then you got the shrine quests, which you know I don't care. Um, and then I refuse. All the like NPC quest lines, like I, I these are the only ones or, I like, have. Like the main quests. Yeah, and then the all the main quests are. are done pretty much. Wait, what was the top one? Yeah. Reverse roll on this. Yeah. I was trying to squeeze you for information. Yeah, you were. Yeah. You got me talking. Mm, yeah. Well, hopefully we got some things that people wanted to hear too. Oh my gosh, I love you and I'm so proud of you. And why, you can't fit in that hole. Why, why can't, can't I fit in that? Why can't I fit in this hole? This is this is garbage. Why would you Tragic. Hmm. Missed opportunity. Well, Moxie, it has been a pleasure. Mr. Dempsey, it has also been Mm. a pleasure. Truly. Please, Mr. Dempsey was my father. (laughs) His name's Charlie. (laughs) His name's Charlie. Dude, it's like, Uh oh, maybe there's something cool inside here. Like, this was, this genuinely just happened. Rubble. No, no, not just rubble. No. You know what it is. Oh my god. You know what it is. Stop. Oh. No. All right. So well, yeah, thanks absolutely. thanks for, if you made it this far uh that's where I'm at. I love you. Uh thank you for watching. Um we will see you in the next I'll video. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to vote on the polls. And and uh yeah, make make sure to vote or if you if you're in a different country, uh also I, I don't know if you guys oh, vote. Right.
I meant on the community tab, but... Uh oh <laughs> Well... Yes. Anyway, thanks, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. I don't understand. What if we had Skyloft, the setting of the game, beloved by fans, up in the sky? It's not... What... What makes it Skyloft, man? I'm so upset. I don't even want to play Zelda anymore. This is... Why not just put something that suggests that? Just put anything in, this, in, in the design to insinuate that it's Skyloft. What? Why not put anything? Yeah, I think that's it for me for Zelda.